Hey, this is Adam Pratt at the Game Grid Arcade in West Valley City, Utah. On the eve before Christmas Eve where it's snowing outside. And just, uh, this is a video update tour, sort of, at night of the Game Grid because it's been a little while since I've done it. Um, I think in the last video we didn't have our network of PCs up. It might be hard to see in the dark where they're all not lit up, but uh, they're here. Um, lots of games on them. Call of Duty 4 is definitely the most popular, but there's a few other ones that we have that are popular too, uh, especially on weekends. But uh, for our arcade games, uh, we've had a few changes since the last video, and some of them you've probably seen in our review updates. Um, we've added Bitbuck Safari Online here, getting into the online tournaments there. The Tsunami Cabinet, which also has uh, Mech Warrior 4, in addition to other games like Crimson Skies and the Airstrike that it says it uh, <coughs> has there, um, and a couple of other games. Uh, Blazing Angels still here, going strong. Uh, House of the Dead 4, 62 inch edition, of course. Um, had a few problems with this a couple months back, but got those taken care of for the most part. There's still a few issues with the guns, though. Um, in my first tour video I did of the game grid, didn't have this here, Chase HQ2, but I did do a video review of it a little while back. Definitely a fun and awesome game. Um, Tokyo Drift as well. This is converted uh, Cruising USA kit, so we don't have the uh, number pads, but I'm trying to find some so I can add those. Um, hard to see here, but this is t -Mac. Unfortunately, it's not working. It's been having a lot of problems, so i got to get those taken care of. Got a Dark Legacy, uh, Movie Stop. Got to restock it. I had a few people win stuff. Do have things like Xbox 360 games in there, though. Um, here in the back, got our snack machines. And then our classic gaming aisle. I've got SVC Chaos, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, one of my favorites. Four-player version, of course. Uh, Crystal Castles by Atari Classic Collection. Namco Classic Collection with Pac-Man, Dick Dug, Rally X, uh, along with new versions. Uh, good old 1942. Uh, Mars Matrix, which doesn't get touched a lot of because people are afraid of how hard it is. Unfortunately, our Oriental Legend 2 is down right now. Deflection went out on the monitor. Um, got Asteroids, though, with uh, awesome vector graphics, which is not something you run into in too many arcades these days. Um, people really like that one. It's on free play. Got our air hockey back here. Good old pinball with Indiana Jones. And, oh, you just got $158 million. That's nice. So now you just need to like double or triple that and you're good. <laughs> a trick too, it's also a lot of fun. Um, on the other side here, we got our King of Fighters 98, does pretty well. Here had a competition on this a few weeks ago. Put a video on that on YouTube already. Uh, Carnival did pretty well in October, obviously. Had Street Fighter 2 here, but had problems with both the cabinet and the board. Uh, one of my personal favorites, Smash TV, I put it in a Superman cabinet. Cause Superman just plain sucks, and so I need to get a new marquee for it, but I love Smash TV. A lot of fun with the dual joysticks. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 1, we are trying to get two, but it's taken a little bit of time to get our hands on that. Still have Warlords here, but unfortunately it's not been working lately. And then last but not least, the Act, um, which is that Dragon's Lair-like thing there. So, uh, yeah, that's basically what we've got here at the game grid, and this is what it looks like at night. There's Kevin, one of